Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. For today I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, dollar index, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. So basically what um, I alerted you also previous week is that Euro is in a strong downside cycle and we spoke about uh, um, bear flags uh, last week basically that Euro provided um you know especially on this two hour and um on the, even the 30 minute time frame market is still in the strong downside cycle and i don't see any sign of bottoming yet so markets you know did a normal reaction price back uh did back into the uh falling uh five day moving average basically found resistance there and basically starting to uh, to sell off again uh, to recontinue with the downside cycle uh, daily look at daily time frame looks like a free bar consolidation um again consolidation usually and you know it's a um, price will go with a path of least resistance so consolidation a strong downside cycle uh, are more productive to the continuation versus any reversal and there are no signs for the reversal yet at this point so i expect the euro dollar and still to go down and still overall dollar index to, to keep going upside uh, the next important pivot level and major level is around 1.037350 so um, and basically if I go to the weekly time frame I will show you that we basically have this uh, low we got lows from January 2017 and this is the next area that I will carefully watch in the euros I still think that market might attack uh, that level that zone this week tomorrow is FMC we got FMC federal funds rate and so, so it will be also a huge event which can bring lots of volatility so still watch for selling opportunities on the rallies and next important key pivot short term mid term at 1.0370350 gold is next market I want to cover I basically alerted you in previous week that Gold is in a strong downside cycle. We saw basically that on the four hour time frame and the potential for the market to create a, and build a second leg. Um, market made in the last 10 days basically started a down cycle, very well defined lower highs and lower lows. It made a higher high, but still that didn't change the trend as you know, the trend, you need the two higher highs and two higher lows at least to change the trend and to establish a new trend. So this is basically just a rally to retest the high break a bit um i also alerted that that rally wasn't uh, that great it didn't look great it looked like a very very narrow channeling mode uh probably from the weak money and there where there that is basically where the seller started to sell even further so really the goal the next area that i have on the in, on the mind chart is basically next important pivot is 1850 we got some major swing high there basically area and the swing lows from here so 1850 zone and then the next 1820 which is projection of 100 percent of this downside cycle and then key lows around cluster of the lows around 1785 so lots of potential for the gold to continue to the downside and again similar to like to the euro dollar i i see no signs of the reversal yet on this on this chart and on the short-term horizon so selling on the rally is still favorable strategy in the current condition dollar index basically still didn't revisit the high at 103.80 didn't test the 104.05 uh, so still space to go for higher and try to test that key multi-week multi-month uh, multi-year high around 100 uh, 104.05 so still expect for upside uh, move on the dollar index. Crude oil basically alerted also that we had a breakout last week, but the breakout didn't look great. It was basically a very, very um, weak breakout with uh, some parallel channel channeling mode on the way up. And the result was this sell off all the way to 100.40. We can see basically marked is very sideways now on different frames. So market did a fake break and then sold off aggressively now basically starting to do the consolidation already basically and we can even see may we might see the downside lag also on the crude oil to try in the next 
to, to clear this previous low. So it might be like a rounding top at this stage. So that yeah, that can also play the role. So fake breakout of the supply trend line and potentially price is backing already. Um, we already did, had a significant back into the previous area of consolidation. So yeah, I think st selling um, still preferable, but I will say, you know, flat to bearish according to the current situation. Bitcoin, um, like a final update for today. Bitcoin resulted the sell off like we expected, but we still didn't test and Bitcoin didn't test at 37,700. Mark, it's doing now the consolidation around um, 38,700. So still, we still didn't revisit previous low. We might see that test before anything else and further any significant thing and upside. So I still think we might retest 37,680. Overall, now we are in consolidation for today. That will be all for this update. I hope you, that you did enjoy. Um, have a great day, trade safe, and see you tomorrow morning.